Hey, Steph, remember when you fell on your skateboard over there? I'll give you five bucks if you try it again. No, not again. That was so epic. You're so rad. <laughs> hey, do you want to go do the boot project later after class? Do you have to? Yeah, so many projects to work on. We need Ali. Do you want to work on it? Do you know where he is? Uh, oh, check it out. Ali. There he is. All right. Let's go do after class. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's go. I can't believe my research projects on breast implants. There's no way. There's, I, I don't understand how amazing this is. It's perfect. And look at those. Look at the cleavage. The cleavage. So much cleavage. Yes. And this is causing the contraction. QI? It's not even a fucking word. Um, and so all of the blood vessels that you <laughs> She hit you all the way in the back with candy. She's never thrown that far. <laughs> hey, so are we doing this or what? Yeah, we need to hurry though. I have a 150 group meeting in a little. Kenny's always on my ass. Oh yeah, me too. <laughs> Do you guys want to go study at the science library? It's perfect because I won't go to engineering gateway ever again. It's too hot, it smells, and the seats all have AIDS. Like every single one of them has AIDS. I right. swear to God, they all Let's have AIDS. Go. Awesome. This website has everything I need. It says here that there are five types of breast implants, but only two of them are on the market currently. The first one is silicone gel breast implants, and here are some of the materials and advantages listed. Silicone is a polymer made up of the elements silicon, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Silicone has advantages because it can help the product to become softer with a more natural feel compared to the saline gel counterpart. Nice. Risks and drawbacks include the fact that silicone gel implants are pre-filled. This means incisions on the body must be considerably larger in order to fit the product into the slit. This can be limiting because many women don't have enough tissue to support this type of implant. Also, many ruptures with silicone breast implants go unnoticed because the silicone slowly leaks it out, out into the body. This can prove deadly because silicone is poisonous and can cause diseases such as cancer. All right. Now on to the next implant. Saline breast implants. The main material is saline, but the casing is still made of silicone. This is important because if the, if the implant ruptures, the saline, which is a salt water solution, is non-toxic and will be absorbed into the body. Also, saline implants instantly deflate after rupturing, making it clear that something is wrong. Now on to the risks and drawbacks. If this implant is ruptured, the silicone shell will still have to be removed be removed through surgery, just like any other implant. Saline implants are also more likely to show rippling or wrinkling than their silicone counterparts. Rippling occurs when the saline fill and the elastic silicone polymer shall interact. It says here that the rest of the implants are apparently off the market due to problems reported in the past. The first one is trilucent breast implants, and the material used to make this one is soy oil. The only positive of this implant is that it is similar to breast tissue. It is radiolucent, which allows mammograms to be taken. However, there are a lot of risks and drawbacks. They include that there is a high probability of adverse effects, specifically swelling, inflammation, and leakage. In some rare cases, implants turn rancid, which require immediate removal. Ugh. All right, now on to the second implant that was taken off the market. This next one is polyurethane coated breast implants. Here are the materials and advantages that go with this type. These implants are silicone gel filled. However, they are coated with a thin layer of polyurethane foam. They were first developed in efforts to reduce capsular contraction. The risks and drawbacks are, similar to most implants, they pose normal side effects such as excessive bleeding, rupture, and infection. However, there are certain types of cancer that have been recorded because of these implants. The third implant off the market is known as a hydrogel breast implant. Although it is made with a silicone elastomer shell, such as the one stated prior, the difference between the silicone implants and this is that they are filled with a specific kind of hydrogel. 
Hydrogels are polymeric materials that have the ability to swell in water without dissolving and retain water within their structures. Risks and drawbacks include reports of adverse effects such as infection, deformation, and capsular contracture, which were caused by the body not reacting well to the hydrogel filler. I guess that's it. Copy and paste. Alright guys, I'm done. So uh, I'll catch you guys later. At least three of us are working. I guess so. I wonder what it would be like to have breast implants. Hey, hey Steph, what's going on? Hey! We got this for you. Alright, thanks. What's up? What are you doing tonight? Hey, Steph, have yeah. some coffee. Oh! And yeah. all the money in my wallet. Okay. Hey, hey Steph! Oh, can hey. I carry you to class? Sure! Awesome! Yes! Maybe I'll get a consultation tomorrow. Hi, I'm Dr. Ariola. Hi. How may I help your breasts today? Well, I really wanted to get breast implants, but I don't know what the most advanced types are right now, so can you tell me what they are? Well, there are carbon-based PIB implants, which are strong because of the pyrolytic carbon coating, and they're also extremely biocompatible, as you can see from their small water contact angles. Oh, okay. They're also thermoplast, which means they can be steam sterilized, so there's less of a chance of contamination before we implant them. Even with traditional silicon implants, they can undergo covalent mobilization, and that means there's less of a chance of capsac capsular contraction, so it has good integration. Even, there's even stem cell based lipotransfers where we take adipocyte stem cells and we lay them on a fat scaffold. So then you have a natural tissue because it's from your own tissue. So there's no risk of biocompatibility at all. But then there's the risk of necrosis and we have unpredictable results because it's pretty new. Oh, okay. So what do you recommend? Well, the most promising ones are probably the cohesive silicon gel implants or the gummy bear implants and they work for cross-linking gel implants in traditional silicon implants and that means you have a greater strength and so there's a less chance of rupture and capsular contracture so it's a good compromise between the strength of the carbon coated implants and the biocompatibility of the stem cell implants and they're undergoing clinical trials so we can get you one right now Oh really? Well is that the best they have right now? Well, biocompatibility has always been an issue, so until advancement in stem cells makes cell-assisted lipotransfer more predictable, there's pretty much nothing else we can do. There's scaffolds maybe made out of silk that are coming out soon, but until then, yeah, this is the best. So is there anything else you can tell me or show me? Yes, here are some of the before and, picture, before and after picture of my successful implants. Here's the before, as you can see the breasts are pretty much non-existent, there's some asymmetry going on. And after we put in the gummy bear implants, you can see oh, they're wow. a lot fuller, yeah. and they're more natural looking, yeah. so this is what you'll get. Yeah, I think that's what I want. Okay. Good. Yeah, let's do that. Hey, what up dude? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get those parts done today. Yeah, yeah, we'll have them done by tonight so we can start. Alright, I know this is like super weird, but my BME project is on breast implants. <laughs> I know. And I was wondering, like, since you have breast implants, you could tell me anything about the procedures or anything, like, done to them? Like, anything sure. about them? Yeah? Alright, cool. Okay, so one of the first questions I have to ask you is, so why do many women get breast implants? Like, why do they get breast implants? Um, I don't know, like, there are many reasons why women choose to get breast implants, but maybe because they had cancer and they, like, want new ones, or they do it to, like, attract men and boost their confidence, or, I don't know, but I think a lot of the times it's low self-esteem issues, which is why, like, women do it, because they hope to, like, change their lives to be better, but, um, 
that's probably why like 73% of women with breast implants have like higher suicide rates in the general population. Serious? Yeah. I can't even believe that. Well, do you know how many people get breast implants? Yeah, more than 200,000 women in the U.S. alone receive implants every year for cosmetic breast augmentation, and 80,000 will get them for reconstruction following a mastectomy. A mastectomy? Yeah, you know, when like a woman gets breast cancer and has to get her breast removed, like, according to the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, more than 180,000 women in the U.S. are diagnosed with breast cancer, and nearly 79,000 breast reconstruction procedures following mastectomy performed last year means there was like a 166% increase in 1992. Wow. You think that's crazy? Over the past 30 years, an estimated 1.5 million women have received breast implants in the United States. I'm guessing 50% of those are in Orange County alone. Probably. This might sound, this might be like crazy, but do you know anything about like the FDA approval process or anything? Are you kidding me? I know all about it. I had to learn everything or else my dad would not let me get them. Medical devices are monitored by the Center of Devices and Radiological Health, which is the CDRH. The FDA must determine which one of the three classes the device falls into based on the level of control necessary to assure the safety and effectiveness of the device. Depending on the classification, the product will be prompted to pre-market notification, which is 510 Wait, 510K or pre-market approval, which is PMA, in order for the FDA to clear the product. Pre-market requirements include labeling, registering, and listing. Next, the developing development of data and information necessary to submit a marketing application is required in order to obtain FDA clearance to market. For pre-market notification and pre-market approval, clinical performance data is required to obtain clearance to the market. Conduct of the trial must be done in accord with the FDA's investigational device exemption, which is the IDE regulation. Whoa. Once admitted, the application process getting your medical device yeah. patent approved begins, which might take some time. Two or more years is like uncommon. It's not uncommon. In the meantime, you may begin placing patent pending notices on your medical product, as well as related marketing and collateral materials. This does not convey any specific patent rights. It just gives you them notice that you filed for a patent protection. Thanks. I had no idea you knew like half the stuff you knew that's amazing. Yeah, of course. Alright. But um, I have to go to class now, so yeah. Alright, no problem. Hey, well thanks. I owe you a little bit. Yeah, you owe me a huge caramel frat. Oh my god. Bye. Thanks, Bye. Darling. See you later. Hey, what's up, Thierry? Yeah, I know. I'm just uh, leaving Newport right now. Hey, did you get my uh, part last night for the 111 project? All right, good. Wait, what? You didn't get Walter's part yet? That's typical. Um, all right, well, I'm going to go pick him up right now before school, so I'll just go ask him right now, and then I'll let you know, yeah? Walter. Walter. Wake up, Sleeping Beauty. Got a little drool there. Hey, are you gonna go to school today? No, definitely not. You over it? Mm. Hey, well, uh, Thierry said he didn't get your part for the 111 project yet. Well, he was lying, because I did it. Well, did you remember to give it to him, or? Wait. See, Ron, I haven't seen this one since now. Anyways, I'll get this to him. All we need to do now is get all this information, write a script, videotape, and edit. Good luck with that. Alright, thanks, pal.